Hello everyone, welcome back to RGB Tech. Here today, in this video, we'll be taking a look at the brand new version of WinLater Molly. I'm going to test this on my Redmi Note 13 powered by MediaTek Dimensity 6080 with 8 gigs of RAM. And this version of WinLater is only designed for Molly GPU devices or any universal devices based on VirGL. If you are using MediaTek, Exynos, Unisoc devices, there is no Turnip or DXVK in this version. You can only play games which are based on DirectX 9 or even lower. I told number of times in my previous videos, right? You can normally run Windows x86-64 applications as usual. All right, now go to releases. So currently it's the latest version. They added stable versions of Mesa VirGL and both Wine D3D 4.11 and 4.12. They added some game presets. They mentioned here they added two versions of files, one with Antutu and Geekbench. Here choose Antutu version because it's common for most of devices. So download and install the package. Enable permission. It starts to install files. Now head over to settings. It's same as usual with Wine 9.2. Set box 86 and 64 versions to default. Also set both presets to performance. Now save settings. Tap on add icon to create container. Set resolution to 800 into 600 or lower. It's recommended. The driver is fixed to VirGL, also the DX version. Enable FPS if you want. In Wine configuration, set desktop theme. Here choose GPU GTX 480. If you are using very low-end Mali, then choose Intel HD 4000, which is the best. Set video memory to maximum. On Wine components, leave them to default. Environment variables, you no need to change them. Now go to Advanced tab. Here set startup selection to aggressive means it completely stops services. This time, enable all CPU cores. Create the container. Now run, it starts to boot system. And there we go. Toggle to full screen. Here we have new 3D test. The developer added some compatible game presets, which basically helps you to run games in custom mode. Means the system will get configured to the game files. Got it. Here you can install some fixes. Like if you have any driver issues, also there are VirGL and Wine D3D drivers. Program same as usual. Also in registry, you all know these are registry keys for system drivers and for some other applications. Let's go to system tools. Let's check out Direct3D. As you can see, it's hitting more than 140 frames. Now go to Wine configuration. Set version to Windows 7. Apply and OK. Now first let's check out this 3D GPU caps test. As you can see here, it shows our GPU name is Wine Adapter. It sounds more like the old Intel GMA basic adapter, if you remember. And the OpenGL version is 2.1. Yeah, it's right. No CUDA support. Like, what do we expect from a Mali device? These are the extensions that are installed. No CUDA, no CL. Sounds more like my old dumb PC. Just kidding. And here there are some 3D demos. Don't expect more? It doesn't support GL4. Let's try with version 3. Not even. Holy shit. All right, okay, all right. As mentioned, it's decent on GL2. So, means it can support DirectX 9 or lower titles. Same for other GL2 versions. The GTA 5 uses more like GL3. I don't exactly know because they use their own graphics rage engine. And here are some specifications. All cores set to 8 with max system memory. It's time to test some titles. The game presets will be used like choose the preset before you start the game. It's mostly not necessary unless if you have any startup issues. Now start the process. Let's jump to another game. It's a bit more intensive for a DirectX 9. Copy, 2-4. 
the frames are actually breathing. Weapons free. Stay in the bird till we secure the deck. Over. Roger that. Squad on me. I see him. Weapons free. Roger that. Anyways, that's it all for today's video, guys. Hope you liked also subscribed for more. Thank you, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.